Here we go again, Coach Lemon, nine holes in nine minutes. I'm gonna play the front nine Liberty Country Club. It's been my nemesis lately, but I am going to break 40 today. I've been working on my mental game. I've been putting great. I've been hitting good shots. It's time, kids. Let's do it. All right, got a fun shot here, hit it to the right in the trees. We have got the ball is there. We've got the green back there, tough angle. I'm just going to uh, punch one down to the right and rely on my short game, which has been aces lately. So that second shot rattled under the trees and got stuck. So I've got to hit this one up the hill. It's kind of a tough shot, I left it short. Then I've got a really tough lie uh, the chip shot there I left short, and then this putt's about 30 or 40 feet. And to continue the theme of leaving things short, I left that one short. And now I'm left with an 8-footer uphill, right to left, for double bogey. All right, nice uh, chip out, got through the trees, got uh, 80 yards left. Gonna hit a 56 degree wedge. After a terrible wedge shot in, I've left myself with about 30, 35 yards in over a bunker. Difficult shot to get close. Not the start we wanted, but uh, I did, in good news, I did uh, take off my jacket, so I'm gonna be a little cooler because the weather's nice, about 60 degrees. All right, we've got 152 to the pin. Um, I have a tendency to leave this shot on this hole short, and I think it has to do with going over water, and I think it's a little more uphill. Wind's kind of into us. Either way, I'm hitting a seven iron to this par three. After a solid seven iron into this par three green, I've left myself with about 35 feet uphill right to left for birdie. We will take a par, very hard earned par after the uh, first two holes. All right, we've got par five. Um, it's about 525 or so, I'm gonna hit a good drive and then uh, see if we make birdie on this hole. So I hit a good drive, one of my better drives on this hole. Um, ended up very fortunate as well. We missed this bunker here. We got the ball over here and the hole up there. I've got, it's 239 to the middle of the green. Normally I'd hit like a three wood, uh, but I don't know about the lip here. So I'm gonna hit my four hybrid and see how close we can get. With that awkward stance and lie for that second shot, I really kind of hit underneath it and didn't get a lot of it. Still left myself with about 150 yards. I hit eight iron in on this next shot, left a little short, and then I'm chipping with an eight iron, and for some reason I just didn't quite catch it right. I was afraid, to, I guess, to skip it over the green and left it quite a bit short. not too bad uh, good first putt just kind of missed that the chip was actually probably the issue there came up short uh, par four to layup hold just hit a four iron about 195 yards and hit a wedge or a short iron in after a poor tee shot I've got 168 in which is kind of a long ways uh, big issue is this tree here I've got to hit it low over there uh, I think I'm going to hit a four iron, choke down on a four iron, see if I can get it at least over the water and up by the green somewhere. So that's the play. Wish me luck. Next to the cart path, a hole 
is up there. I'm gonna hit 52 degree wedge and chip it up close. That chip shot really flew across the green, so I've got about 20 feet left chipping down the hill. It's kind of a difficult chip because once it gets going, it will not stop. I do leave it short and left myself with about, oh, about 10 feet left downhill for bogey. You ever have one of those days where you just can't hit any good shots and things are just not going the way you like? That's kind of the way I feel it is today. I have hit, um, I'm not sure if I've hit the middle of the club face on any of my shots. Um, even the seven iron into the last par three was still, oh, a little on the toe just didn't go where it needed to go. This six iron I hit a little thin, uh, which isn't too bad. It's a good shot, decent outcome. I'm not gonna complain to be on a, on a par three and two in the middle, but uh, it is just interesting. I even looked at uh, the way I hit my, my chip shot and the, uh, where the ball mark was, was actually on the heel. So I didn't even hit my chip shot in the middle of the club face, but these are the things that we have to work on our mental game. And how do we react? Do we get frustrated? Do we give up? Do we stop recording? Do we not put this on YouTube? Or do we persevere knowing that good days are ahead? I can hit good shots. I could make this putt for birdie and then a birdie. And what if I just went home after the first couple holes and didn't get to witness a birdie? Uh, there's another par three left. I could have a hole in one. There's just so many good possibilities. And this is the tough part of golf. This is the mental part where you've got to use your head, stay in the game. I don't have my best game today. There's no way. Do not have my best game. But I'm gonna stick it out, get it out. I'm gonna make a score. I'm gonna make a good video. You guys are gonna enjoy it. And I'm gonna turn this around right now. Uh, this shot's completely blocked out by the trees. I'm gonna have to do what I've been doing most of the day and uh, punch over with a four iron. Should be fun. Got the ball down there. Got to chip up to here. Eight or nine feet left for bogey. Go right to left down the hill. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'll take a five. Okay, par five. Uh, we're eight over par. Not the greatest, but we've got two holes left. Par five. Let's keep it going. Let's work on the mental game. Let's keep thinking good positive thoughts. Get a good picture of my mind on this drive. I'm going to hit it right down the fairway. Had a good drive in the far fairway, still got quite a ways out. I'm gonna hit a layup shot. Gonna hit my uh, four iron down there and it should give me about a hundred yards left. So here we go. Ball was sitting down, tough shot. I'll take it in the fairway. Okay, after a good layup shot out of the rough, it actually was a really tough lie. I'm glad I could get my four iron up here. So I've got about 141 up the hill into the wind back pin placement hitting an eight iron. Turn. Turn, 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 turn. Turn. So the one shot I hit pretty close to the middle of the club face is the one where I aimed at the back of the green and went over just a little bit. Uh, pulled it a hair. We've got the ball is here. Not in the greatest lie, definitely thick lie. We've got to get down here, down there to the right. 
just gonna kind of chop it out with the 56 degree up to the left and let it trickle down to the hole. Oh, and I'm gonna take the pin out because I'm gonna make it. Sure. I got a slippery right to left downhill seven footer for par. Yes, 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 yes. Much needed par. Well, nine holes in nine minutes is almost done. We've got one hole left, great par on the par five. I really would like to finish with a birdie with a respectable score. Um, this is a good example of how, what do you do when your game is just not working? How do you work on your game? Like, subscribe, comment below what you guys think. CoachLemon.com. Here we go. Last hole. Let's finish it up. After my absolute best iron shot of the day, about 30, 35 feet away, just off the green, it's gonna be downhill, it should go a little left to right, and I've got this left for birdie. Me halfway through the round. Wow, what a beautiful day to ruin by playing golf. Me after finishing with two pars. Yeah, baby, that's what golf's all about. I love golf, great golfer, love it, love it, love it, 